So, you're leaving UBC to study at a different university in a new city. You're probably flying far away to experience a new university environment, new foods, new cultures, and new experiences. This is an exciting time. However, there are some important things you need to consider before you take off. Things about transfer credit, how it impacts your degree, and what might happen if you don't pay close attention. You play a key role in all of this. You need your help to avoid delays and other obstacles that might affect your degree progress or even possibly your graduation. What can you do to make sure things go smoothly? It's simple. Provide a syllabus with full and complete information for each course you take abroad. This is the single biggest problem that students run into. When you forget to submit complete course outlines, everything gets slowed down. Transfer credit gets delayed, which leads to problems down the line. Obtain detailed course outlines early on and keep them until your transfer credit is complete. Of course, you need to know where, when, and how to submit courses. We'll talk about that in our next video. But first, let's take a look at an example of a good syllabus. This syllabus provides all required information. Without this, the department who evaluates your course for transfer credit cannot do it properly. In particular, make sure your syllabus includes a very detailed description of assignments. If you completed a presentation, what was the format and how long was it? This course here requires a presentation in groups of three or four with topics on wealth and inequality. If you completed an essay, how many pages were required and what was the research criteria? This course here requires an essay of about 3,000 words with specific methodology and topics. These details are absolutely critical, especially if you are requesting upper-level credit for your major or your minor. Here are two other critical sections, lecture topics and required readings. Evaluators need to know exactly what your course was about, what topics you covered, and the breadth and depth of content. They also need to know what literature was covered, meaning the readings you were required to complete each week with proper references and citation. If you used a textbook, which specific chapters were assigned? If you were given both recommended and required readings, it must be clear which ones were required. Your syllabus must list prerequisites along with a percentage breakdown of grades. In many cases, evaluators cannot determine whether a course can be given 200 level or 300 level credit, for example, without knowing what the prerequisites are. And they need to know how your performance was assessed, including the level of academic demand. Finally, your syllabus must be in English. If the language of instruction for your course is not English, you must do your best to translate the course information before you submit your syllabus. The only exception to this is if you're taking a language acquisition course, such as French or Japanese. These course outlines can be submitted in the original language. So we clearly see that a complete syllabus is important, but what if your professor doesn't provide one to you? Or what if your syllabus is missing some of this key information? First, speak to your professor. Seek them out during office hours or speak to them before or after class. Ask them to provide you with whatever information is missing. Compile this information into a document yourself if necessary, in PDF or Word format. If they're not available in person, send them an email explaining that your home university requires this information to properly articulate your courses for transfer credit. We understand that it might be challenging to gather all this information in some cases, so if you run into any issues, contact Go Global for assistance. While studying abroad, you'll be traveling and adventuring. You want to enjoy your exchange to the fullest and be assured that you have a smooth transition when returning to UBC. So make an effort to understand what you can do to ensure courses get articulated on time, that you make progress in your degree, and that you stay right on track for graduation. Watch our next video on the transfer credit portal and the course request form. Learn more about the transfer credit process and how to get quicker transfer credit results.